This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? This week, a very large and a very small retailer each learned a hard lesson about poor internal communication around misguided promotions tied to the 15th anniversary of 9-11. First, a Panama City, Florida Walmart store erected a twin tower stack of Coke Zero packages with the Coca-Cola and Walmart logos in a corner. Atop was a banner declaring, we will never forget. Behind was an American flag made of red, white, and blue Coca-Cola brand soda cans. Once photos of the display hit social media, the ensuing storm of protest forced the store to remove the display. Walmart corporate apologized and said the design for the display came from the supplier and was approved by its store management. Second, and arguably worse, an independent mattress store in San Antonio, Texas created a viral ad promoting a Twin Towers mattress sale that ended with two employees falling backwards into the stacks which toppled to the ground. Public reaction was so swift and angry that the stores had to close for the time being after removing the web video. What, you should ask, were they thinking, if they were thinking at all? Even if you grudgingly accept that someone would be so disengaged from the tragedy of 9-11 that they would come up with such promotions in the first place, what about mandating some internal controls over any promotion or advertising campaign for that matter? In a big company, any store level promotion or store or company wide creative campaign should be vetted by someone in regional or corporate PR or communications just to make sure it isn't going to come back to haunt you. And in a small business, how about running it by a friendly PR professional, or at least another set of eyes, maybe even a good customer? Just because a promotion or ad is clever doesn't mean it isn't inappropriate or crass. Talk to each other, people. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.